I recently discovered that Quaker has discontinued their line of oatmeal breakfast cookies. I am very disappointed by this. I first discovered those cookies about a year ago now. When the virus first broke out, there was a number of scarcities that developed, and they remained for actually quite a while afterwards. Some of them made sense, you know, for instance, disinfecting sprays and things of that nature. And there was other things that made absolutely no sense. Cookies were one of those things. I got laid off from work in May. May, June, July, I was out of work. And during that time frame, I was not going out in public. Not because I was afraid of it, but because I have certain relatives who were comfortable with me going over to their house under the condition that I wasn't going out in public. And I needed to be able to do that to not completely lose my mind. So that's what I was doing. I wasn't going out in public, and I was going to visit different relatives. And as a result of that, I was no longer going to the store. So I was buying a lot of food on the computer. And I wanted to purchase, at this given time, a box of those Chip Ahoy Chewy Cookies. Because even though on one end of the spectrum those are completely disgusting, I like them because I remember them from summers of years ago and they just bring back a lot of fond memories. And so I wanted a box of those cookies and I couldn't find them. Those were one of those things that became scarce during that spring and summer of 2020. And I remember I found them on on the Amazons, and it was like twenty seven dollars for a box. It was something astronomical, and so I said, "Forget that." And so I was looking around for alternative cookies, and that's when I discovered these Quaker oatmeal cookies. And so I bought a box of these oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, and they were fantastic. I thought they were great. And so I went back and I bought another one. I, I, what I was doing was I was I would buy them in, in bulk. I would buy a box of, a big box of five smaller boxes, which had, I don't know, four or six cookies in each one. And that would get me through the month. And so this was great because those were available, plenty available on Amazon. Could get them shipped in. And the box that they came in, you know, the bigger box had the five small ones, was a perfect size to slip under the bed. And so I was using those boxes when I had all the cookies eaten. I would use those boxes to to store cordless phones under the bed. And that was working out really well. And so I had bought those for a period of time. And then that summer passed and I went back to work in August and... Well, I've just took off and I kind of forgot about cookies, partially because I was trying to cut back on eating that kind of stuff. And then I was able to go to the store again, so I just bought the cookies at the store and it was whatever. But then a couple days ago, I was thinking about those cookies again because I was looking outside and it was May. And I remember sitting on the deck in the morning when I wasn't working, eating those cookies, and it was nice. I says, I want to buy a box of those cookies and I'll have them again. And I couldn't find them. They were sold out everywhere. And so I went to the manufacturer's website and I found a string of comments from people saying they can't find them either. And Quaker had gone in there and they replied and said, we're done with those cookies. And I really was disappointed by that. A lot of people was making comments saying that they were disappointed by that. I'm not sure what the reasoning for that was. They seemed like they sold just fine. And from what I was reading in the commentary, it sounds like they've been selling those things for quite a while. So it kind of stinks because when a food product gets discontinued, you really can't get it anymore. You know, other stuff gets, you know, like a computer gets discontinued or a phone gets discontinued. You can find them for decades afterwards. But a food product, I mean, even if you happen to find one, it's going to be rancid. So... Unfortunately, that's the end of the Quaker oatmeal breakfast cookies, which really stinks. So 
Quaker, I don't know what you're doing, but bring back those cookies.